Coach Vig, my friends. If you want to skip ahead to this big, massive workout, I'll put the time right up there. You can just slide it right ahead. I want to talk uh, for a few moments. This is a rather uh, big day, big day for the Vig family. It was one year ago today, almost to the minute, like give or take an hour, that my father, Robert Donald Vig, passed away. I was just on the phone with my mom and we were talking about that day and the days before it. I haven't talked a lot about my dad and what happened to him. I want to give you a quick uh, synopsis of what happened. He, on his death certificate, it said he passed away from B-cell lymphoma, and he was sick for about six months. It was uh, August, September of 2016. He started to lose quite a bit of weight, which is always a red flag. So he had a colonoscopy, and they found a a mass in his colon and they started doing chemo treatments in October I was home for that I was actually there I took him in to have his port put in his chest and for his first treatment they used to they called it curable lymphoma they said they could easily just blast it away and after about a month or two he wasn't getting any better he was losing more weight and what's that wind and I came home for Christmas in December and I was shocked because he had lost a lot of weight. He didn't look well. And about two days later, my mom and I, we came home, we were out and he was taking a nap and he wouldn't really wake up. He was unresponsive. So we ended up taking him to the ER and he spent a few days in the ICU. What happened is he had a sepsis infection, which is very serious and he was in ICU for about five days, moved to the hospital, and he had to go in every day for like two months for antibiotics. He actually kicked the sepsis infection, but over the next couple months, he, I guess, regressed and got really sick and very pale and gaunt, and they admitted him to the hospital, and he was in there a few days, and then he, he passed away. So, uh, I wasn't there. I was just talking to my mom. I, I would have loved you know, to have been there with him and my mom. He went so quickly that my sister and I didn't really have a chance. We, we got into town the next day because my sister lives in Colorado also. But my mom was with him the whole day in the hospital and that was, my mom's amazing. She sat with him and spoke to him because the doctors said the last thing that happens that they, they can hear, well, last thing is they can still hear because my dad had kind of slipped into a coma at this point so I would call her they had a landline in the room she finally got a cell phone like a few months ago but I called her about every half hour half hour and and one I, I was out going for a walk it's such it's I mean, what a day I you know we knew that day that he was gonna pass away so you're kind of in limbo you're kind of wrapping things up and preparing and and preparing for the grief and everything that's going to come in the loss but thankfully my mom was in there with him and she was speaking to him the entire day and I called about every half hour and one of the times I called and said mom can you tell dad some things for me and she said well here let me just put the phone up to his ear so oh I got to say a few things to my dad and uh, it was beautiful and horrible. I was standing in my driveway, I know right where I was, and got to tell him a few things. It was, the, I realized it was the first time I spoke to him about six months where I was actually resolved to what was really going to happen, because I was always bucking him up and being really positive and helping him in any way I could. So I got to speak with him, and then a few hours later I, I went out to do some things. I couldn't sit at the house anymore, and I was about, I was at the stoplight right by the library I was talking to my mom on the phone and she said I don't think he's breathing anymore so she called a nurse so as I turned in the library I, that's when he had passed away uh, the next day my sister and I got up there and uh, it seems like an eternity ago but you know how do you measure a year how do you measure a year like this so I'm going home in about 10 days that'll be really nice I go home a lot to see my mom my mom's amazing. She took care of him the last couple months uh, that he was with us and did everything. She talks about 
where all that strength came from because after he passed the next day she said she was so exhausted she she could barely get out of bed i think that's pretty normal so okay back <laughs> back to this i there goes addy addy's here that's always good <laughs> watch out for the rope so I want to do a big workout. My dad always, you know, my dad and I were so close. I had him for 42 years and I'm so blessed for that. I'm so thankful. I thank God all the time for him because we were so close and such a great match. He loved to come out filming with me. You probably see him in a lot of videos, sometimes in front of the camera, sometimes behind. He'd be wrangling Addy, they'd be playing, he'd be reading a book. Sometimes he'd nap. He and Addy would cuddle up behind the camera and take a nap. Whether it's in Wisconsin or Colorado or Florida, wherever I would film, he would, you know, I, I go over and say, Dad, you want to come film with me? Oh, of course. I can imitate his voice perfectly, too. So when I want, I, I channel him. Another thing I do is I sing to him all the time. I sing songs that he loves, some of his favorite songs, also songs that remind me of him for one, you know, one reason or the other. I sing them in the shower, in the car, anywhere, out walking out here. The one song that has just been going through my head and looping the last couple weeks is a beautiful song. It's called My Old Man by the Zac Brown Band, and it, it's so pretty. It reminds me so much of him. Uh, last night, I was in the loft working. I decided to turn it on, and I, you know, you have a little breakdown, but it's the grief is important. The grief is purging. The more that the person means to you, the more you grieve, and the more you're thankful for them. <sighs> oh man, now I'm st I could talk for hours and hours about my dad, but I, I love him to pieces. I pray, I talk to him all the time, that I, I love him always and forever, and I, I will see him again. The Zach Brown song, the My Old Man says, I, I know someday we'll meet again, and I, I hope that uh, proud of who I am. So we're going to film this big workout, see what happens as always, full of joy, full of spontaneity. The fitness is such a match for life and everything that we do, movement, breath, celebrating things, being thankful, and of course being with Addy. Okay, I hope that made sense. If you ever meet me in person, we'll have coffee. You can ask me any question you want about my dad. I just, I love my dad. <sighs> And I'm, I'm so happy I can keep doing this. All right, let's get to the workout. We'll run it by Addy first, okay? Addy, shall we work out? And there's your answer. Whew. And the weather is gorgeous today. It's about 55. I would ache if I could not come out here and film. My whole body and soul would ache so bad. All right, power yoga with Pilates and whatever else you want to throw in here. Let's enjoy. Modify as needed. And let's, who cares about the wind? Let's film. Better than being in a stuffy studio. Downward facing dog. Breathing in the nose, out the nose. Let's rock it forward and back. Inhale forward, exhale back. The breath should almost block out all the other sounds. And as the earth heats up here in Colorado, oh. You get those glimpses in the smell of summer. That beautiful dry smell, I love it. It's a little bit like Montana. Montana is a little sweeter, I think because of the pines, the kind of pines they have, because I spent a lot of time there also. But can't go wrong with a Montana, Colorado connection. A couple more. Let's get that blood flowing. See if Addie will visit us occasionally. Okay, walk the hands back to the feet. Forward fold, walk the legs. Feet are parallel, tuck the chin. Let me know if anybody's coming from behind. Come behind someone. Oh, little adjustments in the spine, putting things back where they need to be. Four more walks, four more steps. Two, three, and four. Inhale, rising up, stacking, stacking, stacking. Two shoulder rolls. Ah, ha, ha. Tuck the chin, diving down. Celebrate that spine. Walking out, downward facing dog. Walk the legs. Feet parallel. The more I read about posture, 
keep those feet like this, not turning out, putting, don't want to put pressure on the knees and pull your gait off. Okay, four more steps. One, two, ah, four. Walk the feet to the hands. Bend the knees accordingly, forward fold. Fingers under the toes or arms around the legs. Three breaths. Release the neck. Release the Kraken. Release the hounds. Okay. Inhale, flat back. Fingers on the shins or on the mat. Shoulders are back. Good. Nice long spine. Extra breath here. And don't worry, I slathered on the sunscreen. Okay, step back. Plank. Let's simmer for five breaths in the plank. Simmer, simmer, simmer. Elbows in, a little rocking forward and back. We're very impetuous, we're very excited to get moving. We're like a horse waiting to run out of the gate. Okay, press forward, lower down, hover, chaturanga, melting down to the earth. Inhale, cobra or upward facing dog. Shoulders back, feel that lift, feel that height little movement. <sighs> Exhale, downward facing dog. Walk the legs ten times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hold that down dog. Let me just, I don't want my notes to fly away even though I'll probably do most of this on a whim, inhale, left leg up, left foot forward, lunge, roll those shoulders up and back. Do that again. Press that right heel down one more time. Fingers reaching towards the ground, little fossey right here. Thumbs up if you've ever done a fossey dance. Okay, inhale, arms up, set them down, down dog. Right leg forward, lunge, shoulder roll. Left heel down. One more time. Anyone know this bear? There goes the line. Arms up, forward, vinyasa flow. Leg up or step back to plank. Melting down. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Little shake out of the legs. All body weight. Walk the hands to the feet, rising up. Oh, two shoulder rolls. Slide those shoulders down the back. That's the ticket. Tuck the chin. Forward fold. Walk out to plank. Press forward, hover. Control your movements. Like Laura Brannigan would tell you, self-control. Inhale, up dog or cobra. Hip dips. Bring some limberness. Movement and mobility to the lower back. All right, down dog. Left foot forward, lunge. Again, shoulder rolls, three of them. Whoa. Lace the fingers, mudra, open the chest. Two breaths. Sinking down in the legs. Arms up. Forward, down dog. Right foot forward. Smooth it out, smooth. Shoulder rolls, three. Okay, back and down. Whoa. Wind, mudra. Three breaths. I'm staring at somebody's backyard. Arms up, vinyasa power flow. Kick the leg up or both feet down. Melting, melting, I'm melting. You killed her, up dog. Ouch. Never, ever, ever do Wizard of Oz quotes around Addy. You're just asking for trouble. Downward facing dog. Ooh, that'll keep you on your toes, boyo. Inhale, left foot forward, lunge, there she goes. Take one shoulder roll and open up, mudra. 
Warrior three, put the weight into your left foot, lift the right foot up. This is one that I always have a little trouble with, but that's why we do it. We work on those things that are the most challenging. Right foot back, inhale, lift, down, down dog, right foot forward. Lunge, mudra, take the warrior three. Okay, I have to sharpen my focus. So many thoughts just shoot through our brains. Okay, but we must control those thoughts. The battlefield of the mind, as Joyce Meyer says. Take the arms up, hinge, vinyasa flow. Uh-oh. And up dog. <laughs> well, it was up dog, the same as before, but not Wizard of Oz. We'll figure this algorithm out. Take it back to down dog. A few deep breaths here. Okay, where was I? Down dog. I'm out of treats. This isn't gonna end. Okay. Okay. Have that constant visitor. Take the left leg up, left foot forward, pivot it out. Warrior one. Reach the arms up. Strengthen the leg, strengthen the hold. Open to two. Arms out, shoulders down. Very nice. Reach forward, flip the hand up, reverse warrior. Hand can be on the leg or the lower back. There we are. That's, that's better that I pulled that down. Inhale, pinwheel the arms. Slowly, slowly into an extreme warrior. Feel that core working. Set the hands down. Switch, other side. Right foot forward. Warrior. Eins. Open to two. Good. Shoulders down. Feel those muscles in the back working. Flip the hand and reverse. Excellent. Pinwheel the arms. Extreme. Two breaths. Oh, that is extreme. Vinyasa power flow. However you like it. Melting down, up dog. Slight twist. No wizard of Oz, don't do it. Don't do it. Down dog, take the feet wide. Dropping down, wide legged forward full. Let's rock it forward and back. Wherever your hands lie. Lay, lie. Good. Oh, throw in a lot of flexibility training in here. Think of it this way. You want your body to be able to adapt to whatever sport or activity, anything you do, you can adapt to it with control, balance, and posture, and alignment. And of course, grace, grace. Okay, <laughs> feet together. We have dolphin pose, palms flat, walk the legs. Slowly, I'll keep an eye on that bear. Good, walk it out. Pop up to down dog. There's the pop. Walk the hands back to the feet. Ooh, release. Oh, little adjustments in the spine. Inhale, flat back. Shoulders are back. Hey, let's pull the shirt down. Keep it clean. Keep it clean. All right, walk out, plank. Spider Man, frozen. Leg out, hold. Five breaths. Oh, you were hoping I was going to do that, didn't you? Oh! Is that five? Okay, back. Other side. Five breaths. Effortless movement. This is tough, but you practice. Effortless. Take away tension throughout the body as you move. All right, feet back, forward, hover. Take an extra breath if you want to hover. I usually read my Sports Illustrated from this position. Yes, all right, all the way down. Inhale, up dog or cobra. Downward facing dog. Pilates, yeah, walk or jump the feet forward. Bring it through, scooch back. Oh, I can't see, yar, I need an eye patch. Okay, half boat. Shoulders are back. Take a few shoulder rolls here. Now you might be saying this isn't Pilates. Just wait a moment. 
we're going to start bringing that focus into the core. Shoulder rolls. So we have this postural move as we're engaging the core and keeping ourselves balanced here. One more. Now add arm swings like a superhero. My favorite would be Batman, I think. Add the same leg if you like. Ten more. One, two, three. It's movement. Four, five, six, oh no, seven, eight. Keep it going. Nine and ten. Okay, from half boat, bring the feet down, left foot forward. We have lunge. Ten arm swings. Two, three, four. Five, there we are, six, no, 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 seven, eight, nine, ten. Switch to the other side, dun, 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 ten times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two more, nine, ten. Melt down to half bow. Let's do that once more, ten times. Leg if you like, one, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten. You betcha. Once more. Each lunge. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Switch. Okay. One, two, three, four. You feel that? Five. Make sure you comment below. Check in below. Eight, nine, ten. Right down in the Pilates 100. Here we go. Breathe in for five, out for five. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Seven, eight, nine, ten. One more set. Ten, two, three, four, five, six, eight, nine, ten. Well, how about that? Bring it up. Spine stretch. Wide leg. Let's take a classic one. Shoulder rolls. Make sure we're not losing that posture. Heels edges or wider. Okay, fingers down. Four times. In the nose, out the mouth. Exhale, hinge. Inhale, rise up. Shoulders back and down, lifting tall. Three more. Melt into that, lengthen into that stretch. Inhale up, down. Inhale, rise. Squeeze out the lungs, every atom, every molecule. Once more. That dog understands. Inhale up. Take it into the saw. Apropos, the saw was my dad's favorite exercise. Take the arms out. Ten times. Twist. Pulse. Pulse. Good. Three. Four. Effortless. Effortless. Five. Look to the back arm. Five more times. Seven, eight, slice that pinky toe. Nine, bend the knees if it's too tight. And ten. Now roll up with the wide leg. A little different. How about that? Either come halfway back and then forward or all the way down. Five times. Here's one. Reach up and over. Spine stretch. Tuck the chin like a wheel, your spine rolls down. Take a little pause there. Take up momentum. Three more times. Hey. Ah, the winds. I bless the winds down in Colorado. One more time. Pause. Peel off the mat. Good. Hollow out the abdominals and reach. Extra long stretch right here. Oh, how much can your spine take? Pull the belly button into the spine. Inhale up. And let's do the big five. Bring the right knee in, left leg out. Single leg stretch ten times. One, two, 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Single straight leg stretch ten times. Two, three, lift the chest. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Double leg stretch. Feet together, tabletop position, 10 times. Inhale, exhale. Keep the upper body right where it is. Two, three, four, five. Deep breathing, six. Energize the lungs, seven, eight, nine, 10. Bring it out, three breaths right here. Keep your lower back down. You know. All right, two more. What is this? Oh, alternating leg drops. Hands are to the hips, fingers back at the head. Inhale lower, exhale up. Keep it going. Ooh, that sun. We alternate. Anchor the lower back. Keep this leg extending as you drop the other one. If you want more, double straight leg stretch. Let's do eight of these. Keep doing the leg drops if you like. Flex the feet. Oh, that, that sun. And point. <sighs> Careful what you ask for. Oh, that beautiful sun. Two. <sighs> Three. Or hands under the hips. <sighs> Four. Ah. Five. Three more. Six. Total body strength. Seven. And last one. Eight. Let's put the cherry on top, 50, 50 crisscrosses. Do them with me or do as many as you can while I do these. Here we go. One, two, three, five, six, 10, 20, 16, 17, 20, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 30, 4, 5, 9, 10, last 10, slow it down. One, two, three, four, Five, oh, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, come on up, come on up. Oh, cross the ankles. Catch your breath in downward facing dog. Uh oh, down dog. Take a few breaths here. Oh, it's like the edge with Anthony Hopkins. Oh, a few more flows here. Left foot forward. Warrior stance. Take it out to warrior three. Arms out. Now hinge. Forearm on the leg or slide the hand down. Proud warrior, reach. Five breaths. You can feel the improvement now in our, in our yoga postures after doing a round of Pilates. That core strengthening and precision and breath of Pilates enhances, brings so much more shine and polish to our poses and our awareness and vice versa with the yoga poses into Pilates. Okay, reach forward, reverse warrior. Right hand, or different kind of reverse warrior, left arm up. Two more breaths. Okay, hands down, step back, other side. Oh, okay, open. We have this or this, five breaths. Roll that left shoulder back. More breath. I need more. Oh, brilliant. Left hand down. Inhale, lift, twist. Hi. Bonjour. Right from the moment when I met her, saw her, I said she's gorgeous and I fell. It's been in my head too. Okay, reach. Vinyasa flow, melting down, melt, melt, melt. Moving through layers of mud and peanut butter and almond butter. Inhale, up dog, twist. Oh. It's your body, you gotta take care of it. Nobody else can, downward facing dog. Left foot forward, warrior two. Okay, now take it further. Forearm down or proud. Or the wrap. You know how much I love the wrap. Right here. Five breaths. Open. 
Let your tummy pooch out. Let it pooch. Need that oxygen. We need that respiration. Oxygen into the bloodstream. If you like, you can extend the leg. This is a triangle wrap. Can you dig it? Oops, slipping. One more breath. Okay, open up triangle. Extend it or half moon. Oh, hey. Okay, I blinked for a second. There we are. Half moon pose. Opening tall. You can also grab this foot. Pull it back. Is this called the sprinkler, I think? Three more breaths. Magnificent. Vinyasa power flow. Hop or walk back. And then down. Melt, melt, melt. Meet you at down dog. Okay. Right foot forward, two, down. Stay here or add the wrap, W-R-A-P. Slipping, okay, a little slippage, all right. Keep your chest open, upper body open. Avoid the drop like this. That's disengaging. Don't be like Maverick, open up if you want. Oh, extend that right leg. Four more breaths. Okay, vinyasa flow, your choice. However you wanna do it. Melt, 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 melt. Melting, melting. Oh, here she comes. Here she comes. Down dog. Oh, she, she got distracted. She turned. Downward facing dog. Walk the hands up. Rising, rising, stack, stack, stack. Shoulders back so we can catch her. Wait, oh. Hey, we're in a different spot. I accidentally deleted the last sequence from this video, so we're back out here in a different place. But don't, don't lose heart. We'll finish strong. All right. Let's dive down, forward fold, oh, and different pants too. I like to shake up the workouts and the wardrobe. Let's walk out to plank. Ooh, I'm a little sore in my rhomboids today. Got a little tightness. Overuse, so let's take it nice and easy. Press forward, lower down, and then take the arms out. Let's do a scorpion twist. Up and over, right leg reaches, take the right arm, extend. Ooh, feel that nice stretch down the abdominals. Ah, I just taught a class, Yoga Pilates at Nick's Pro Fitness. So I'm excited to be here. Let's go to the other side. Up and over. There's something in my pocket. No, there's not. Okay, reach. Take this arm and extend it. Get some length in the spine. All right, back to the center. Up dog or cobra, press up. I'm gonna do a little dip side to side. Yeah, but once every three months, I get a little spasm in my rhomboids. I'm getting a massage later, so excited about that. Been doing a lot of stretching and rolling. Back to downward facing dog. Okay, let's take it up a notch. Take that left foot forward, triangle pose. Turn the right foot in. Reach and down. In the nose and out the nose on this fine, fine day. There's doggies everywhere. Addie's at home. Now extend. One of my favorites, getting length down the side and then lap muscles. Keep this left foot open. There's a cloud. Okay, moving into the wrap. Bend the knee, take the left arm underneath, right arm around, or stay in the triangle if you like. This is a warrior wrap. I'm gonna change it, voila into a triangle wrap, so extend the leg. Be cautious, use your breath. I've been guilty of, of pushing a little too hard in my own, my own workouts, my own stretches, I've noticed that. So I'm kind of pulling back a little, using more of the breath as I always preach about. Let's do two more breaths, because this is, oh, that's really hitting your left calf 
your hamstrings. All right, release, bring it back to the extended triangle. Two more breaths. Hope you're enjoying this flow. I'm very happy to bring it to you. As always, you know, show your uh, feedback in the comment section. Okay, set it down, downward facing dog. <sighs> Rebalance yourself for a moment. It got really cold all of a sudden. <sighs> Good, yeah. Gotta work through that tightness. Bring the right foot forward, triangle, other side. We come up, arms out, reach, down. Look up if you can. And extend. Left shoulder back. Those are the three sisters. Actually, that's the brother, and those are the three sisters. Those buttes, those little peaks over there. I hike to the top of those a lot. I filmed up there too. All right, now bend the knee. We have the wrap. If you're so inclined, it's your right arm underneath, left arm around. Ooh, ooh, yeah, okay, and then from here you can flirt with the triangle wrap. Open your upper body. Unlock the potential and power of the breath. Two more breaths. That feels good. Yeah, yesterday I was a little tight. I, I whined a lot. Good yoga whining. I even whine. We all whine. All right, unravel. Woo, come on up and take that. I'm going to grab my leg this time because it's still a little tender. I'm going to extend. Okay, reach it all the way through. Let's go through a vinyasa flow. Take a slow step back, hands down, forward, down. Ooh. And once more, take it to that, what the, into that scorpion. Walking the foot back. Get that off my foot, there we go. And other side. Get on the mat here. There we go. And back to the center, up dog or cobra. A little wiggle, a little wiggle. Okay, no big power yoga workout of mine. Wouldn't be, well, it wouldn't be mine if we didn't do a little bird of paradise. So let's check this out. I'm not sure how my body's gonna respond right now, but darn it, let's do it. Take the left foot forward, pivot the back foot, come to a lunge, or a, a warrior. Now we have side angle. If you wanna risk going further, take the hand down. We go into our wrap. How many of you have done Bird of Paradise with me, with me before? It's one of my, it's one of my calling cards. If you want the full effect, take the right foot forward and lift up off the mat. Oh, oh, right off the mat, literally, literally. And you can extend out if you like. Now I have a little treat for you. I have a surprise, Uberashung, que surprise. You could go from here into half Russian. Don't talk to me, I wanna focus, here we go. Pick your poison, three breaths. Okay, you can go back to the bird of paradise if you like. And let's bring it down. Whew. Nice job. Take the hands to the center, drop the forearms, a little lizard stretch, surprise. Rock it back and forth before we go to the other side. Bring the sun back out. Was is los here? Oh man. Saba. Dip that knee down, ooh, and rock. 
really tug on that hip flexor. <sighs> the lizard. <sighs> Drawn by Todd McFarlane. Okay. Step back, downward facing dog. Are we all clear? Okay. Golden Retriever said hi to me before I started filming. That was a beautiful experience. Okay, right foot forward. Warrior. Shoulders back and down. Ah, bend the knee. Here we are. As we journey along. <coughs> it's up to you. Okay, I'm gonna stretch a little bit here. Work out some of the kinks. You're lubricating the joints and then this mat's a little slippery. Here we go. There's the wrap into Bird of Paradise. Find a focal point. And if you want, you have the half Russian. Oh, careful. There we go. Grab the outside of the foot or the big toe. Shoulders down, three more breaths. Magnificent. You can go back to the bird of paradise. Oh, that was smooth, and then come down. <laughs> oh, beautiful. And then lizard. Forearms down or the hands down. Rocking forward and back. Allergies. Knee comes down, continue the rock. Woo. Good. Go away. Okay, one more vinyasa flow, why not? Hands down, kick the right foot back, forward, down. Up dog. Blasting up, squeeze the glutes. And then downward facing dog. One more breath. Get those hips loose. The knees come down. Oh, let's turn to the front. Enjoy the sun for a second. Straddle stretch. Open wide. Bend the knees to modify. Bring the hands down or the forearms. A little Popeye straddle stretch here. We do a lot of straddles, but we add different little uh, little kinks, little variations to uh, unlock different potential, different areas. So bring the forearms down. Let's sway side to side. Stay lifted. Draw the toes towards you. Oh good, that feels nice. Now slide the arms a little further in opposite directions. This is the knot pose, K-N-O-T. Nice way to get into it with the forearms down instead of just saying knot pose and ripping your shoulders off. So as you do this, you can keep sliding them a little further as, as your body allows, of course. Slide them away from each other. In the nose, out the nose. Feel that movement, be that movement. And as I said, I, I've been guilty of late of pushing a little too hard in my stretches and my body pushed back a few times. I get excited, you know, I, I, I love the breath, I love that process of the release, it's intoxicating. But even then, you gotta walk the line, you gotta be careful. And it's an opportunity to learn, to grow from it, and to avoid that in the future. Okay, bring it back up. Ooh. Oh, a couple shoulder rolls here. Twist it to the right. The world, the wonderful world of straddle on Sunday nights. Each exhale, twist a little bit more. Woo. Did you hear that adjustment? Don't tell my chiropractor. She'll, she'll want something from that. All right, twist to the other side. The process of twisting is also a process of lifting. 
of keeping your foundation so we don't just sacrifice everything for range of motion. So keep it lifted, keep it honest. And I tell you, most of the time, if you're really stuck, turn your attention to your shoulders. I bet they're, they're rolling forward or, or creeping up. Relax them down. It'll give you all this area to move. All right, back to the center. Let's do our Popeye again. I can't remember. Uh, do the other arm behind, other arm in front. Can I remember? Which one did I do? This feels different. Okay. So start here. And then at your own pace, you can, you can increase the knot. Wind. It's getting windier later today. There's rain coming, so I'm glad we're out here now, but it just got really cloudy. One more breath. The big flush. All right, come up. Ooh. Gotta take a moment for that. Write a haiku about it. A couple shoulder rolls. Go back and forth here. Active stretching. Nice and loose. Nice and tall. Moving into a side bend. If you like, take the arm over. Okay, lace the fingers together behind you, open the chest, back bend, and as you do that, bring the legs back in, shake them out, and seated cross-legged position. I used to end all my classes when I taught yoga and Pilates at Walt Disney World, ended them all in a seated position like this. I taught there for about nine years as their yoga and Pilates guy for all the cast members. All right, Walt Disney World, Florida. All right, bring the arms up. Exhale, side bend to the right. Oh, bringing back the memories. Team Disney, feature animation, Imagineering, Animal Kingdom, Epcot, all right, to the side. Disney University, taught there a long time. One more time, each direction. Forearm down if you like. Oh, how about that? Good, blood circulation, circulating. Bring the arms up. Exhale, cactus arms, palms in, open the chest, rising out of the mat. And once more, bring the arms up, palms together. And let's all exhale together as we bring the hands down. Where did the sun go? Bring it down, bring it down. Shoulders back and down. Take a deep breath here. And bless you for joining me today, my friend. Wherever you are in the world, thanks for training with me. In fact, let me know down in the comment section where you are in the world. I love to hear that. Ladies and gentlemen, Welcome to the final day of Sean Veig's seven-day Pilates Challenge. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for supporting my son, Sean. He's a good boy. All right, come down. I'll move out of the way. Okay. <laughs> Sweetie, hi. Oh, what are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> Let me turn that off. There's a doggy. <laughs> hi, sweetie. Oh, Eddie's gonna be so jealous. Hi. <coughs> hi. <laughs>